inside and uh, give you a technical overview of, uh, of this, uh, this trend. So we started a long time ago, in 2016 in fact, and we started to think to replace the, the whole fleet that maybe you saw just before. So we started to think about that with business case and so on. In 2018, we received funding from the transport for government and we signed a contract with uh, Siemens. And we signed a contract for 32 transits and 32 transits in this configuration that you can see here. So we have one locomotive, two business class, and after that three economic class. And the train are bidirectional, so that means when you arrive here, for example at Windsor, you don't have to turn the train or to bring a new locomotive, you can go back uh, with the cab car, driving through the cab car, you can go back to uh, Toronto, Quebec, uh, and so on. So. And uh, so we started in 2018, we received the first train in 2021, it was during the pandemic that we were able to receive the first train and to start the winter test. Because we wanted to validate the train in the Canadian environment, I would say, and the top of the train. So we did that, and we started to operate the train in 2022, only at the beginning between Montreal and Ottawa. And step by step, since one year, we receive every month, we receive a train, and we start to increase step by step. Uh, the, the, rider, the ridership on the train. So today we receive approximately, we receive 18 of the train sets. 18 on 32, we will receive the last one next summer. Okay. Next summer, you will have all the entire corridor with the entry. Uh, so, if you want, you can go inside and we'll do a quick tour. Uh, quick coach uh, as you can see we we put a lot of emphasis at the beginning of the project uh, in terms of uh, customer experience we wanted our customer to to travel in a very comfortable and state-of-the-art uh, train so during the process with the, the help of some designer we we try to to make this train the more comfortable the more light you see that you have a wider head uh, for, for people to, to, be, to be in a position to travel in very good condition, but also to be efficient and productive in terms of, uh, of work. If you want to work in here, you, have, uh, you can plug your, your laptop, you have access to a Wi-Fi, you also have access to a privacy pod here, when you can do some uh, meetings, you can be alone and not disturb the rest of, uh, of uh, the passengers. So, of course, this is a business class, but you will see on the economy, we add the same ID effectively to, to, to travel in a comfortable way. Um, on business class, we also serve meal on, on seat. That's why when you enter in this, uh, in this coach, we pass through what we call a galley, so it's a small kitchen. So people are able to prepare the plate and after that serve, uh, serve the meal to, uh, to the passion. To this, uh Six the same amount of people as the old Yes, uh, the mandate that we received from, from the government was to replace the, the capacity of the old fleet. So today, it's approximately the same number. No more, no less, it was clearly our mandate to replace seat per seat the number of, uh, of passengers. So in terms of capacity, it's, it's, exactly, it's exactly the same. Uh, the other thing where we put a lot of emphasis in is the accessibility. Uh, the whole fleet is not fully accessible. This fleet is completely accessible. So you will see in the train, it consists of five uh, mobility space dedicated for people with disability, wheelchair, and, and so on. And to also board the train, we put inside the train so some uh, wheelchair lift. Like this, people are able to, uh, to in enter in the train using the lift, and after that move by themselves in the, in the consist or in the, in the coach. So they will come here, they will have access here to a, to a table, they can adjust the table according to the type of wheelchair that they have, they can put their, uh, 
you know, luggage if they want here. Uh, they also have a, the same thing that everybody they can have access to club and so on. And after that, especially they can go inside uh, the washroom that we developed especially for, uh, for people with disability. It was something completely new that we worked with, uh, with the manufacturer for, for them to be able to, uh, the monitor with a wheelchair in the, in the washroom, to be able to move, be able to do the transfer by themselves in, uh, on the board. So we, we work a lot finally with uh, accessibility group in Canada. We did a lot of uh, design session with them, a mock-up session, to validate that everything that we put in place was convenient and it was uh, it was okay to, to be able to do it. We can go to the uh, so you can see here the galley that we have with some cars to, to serve the meals. Here you have the wheelchair, so you have six wheelchairs in the train, wheelchair lift. So in fact we you can deploy the, the lift up to up to the ground, people can enter, and after that move inside the train by by, by the all, uh, all the what we call the gangways through the pass the passage between coaches are completely sealed. So you don't have any more uh, snow or, uh, or water mm -hmm. and people it's also easy for people to move because of the, the fuel is completely flat. Uh, you can find, can find the, the same type of, uh, of functionality with your privacy pod uh, if you want to uh, if you want to, to work and to be uh, have more privacy. that in terms of seats, it's exactly the same that the one in business. It was something that we wanted also at the beginning to, to give the same level of comfort to passengers in business or economy. So the seats are exactly the same, only the color changed a little bit because we wanted to, to do some distinction. And the space, of course, between, uh, between the seats are different, but in terms of comfort, it, they are exactly, exactly, uh, exactly the same, so no compromise at all in terms of comfort. Uh, here we are in a luggage section and you, c you can see behind you that we also think about the possibility to, to put some bikes. This is also a request that we receive from some association to be able to travel uh, from the point A to a point B with, with bikes, yeah. people uh, like that. And people want to have their bike close to, to them. So that's why, that's why we have the possibility to transform this uh, section here if we have some bike to transform this section to put the bike or if we don't have them to, to keep them uh, for, for luggage. Okay. We can continue. So you, in each car you have uh, you have PIS where you can display information, Wi-Fi of course. This coach also, uh, like the one that we saw, is an accessible one, so you can find the same, the same kind of um, of washrooms, and also the kind, uh, the same kind of seat. So the people with uh, with a wheelchair with come here, they will be able to uh, to, to sit. Uh, to sit. We don't serve uh, we don't serve meal uh, meal at place at on. Uh, on the economy, so the galley are smaller here. Okay. You can still prepare. You can still uh, prepare some food, and uh, so that sell, sell it. But uh, that's why it's, uh, it's a smaller, smaller package. So 
this one, this one is a very uh, atypical section on the on the coach. It was also a request from uh, the accessibility group. Sometimes you have couples that have disability, all of them, and they, they want to travel together, so they can do it in uh, in business, but they can do it also in uh, in economy, so they can book book the book uh, the seat here. But also sometimes you need to have people that will help you, help you for the food, for example, or to help you to, to manage. So we can book this seat here and you have a space here for the accompaniment. There's the people that will uh, help you during, uh, during your, uh, your trip. And uh, after that, you have all this space here to be able to move, uh, to move your wheelchair. So it's clearly uh, an area that will be developed according to the feedback that we receive from, uh, from, uh, from them. Do you actually book specific seats now? Every time I'm taking the train, it's just kind of get on and find a chair. I know you have to book. Uh, you have to book the, to book the seat. Yes, yes. Okay. You have to book the seat. We from we put a new uh, reservation system in place, and now you you have to. So if you're a family of four and you wanted one of those. Yes. You normally, like you, with, you know the seats that are facing each other. Yes. You 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 normally you will be automatically you will be positioned in the quad, mm -hmm. but after that you can change, but uh, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. in the family of four, uh, yeah. uh, last time I traveled with eight people of my family and we were uh, in the middle, it was, uh, it was yeah. And, yeah. And they're given priority, when when you reserve, even if you're, you come in and there's already like one or two seats taken, mm -hmm. usually they'll give priority to the groups. Yeah, like so your, your parents together. with two kids, they'll... Exactly, okay. you can't split them yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Yeah, in my university days, it was a race to get to the floor because they were the only ones with the club. Yeah. <laughs> had to get to yeah. the floor spot. <laughs> and you didn't book seats in the head. In the head. Special car that has been developed for, for the project. So it's what we call the cab car. Uh, cab because you can drive from this uh, this car. So you have it's a mix of uh, the passenger area here and the front of the car the coach is dedicated for the locomotive engine. So you can drive from here. Of course, here there is no engine, there is nothing. Everything is on the locomotive, and you have effectively cable. Uh, wiring, network and so on from here to be able to, to drive or to, uh, to co control the engine and, uh, and give the production. So in terms of efficiency, it's, uh, it's a lot of improvement because you avoid put on the train, you, uh, you, you, gain, you gain time of course, uh, doing that and, uh, and uh, it's, it's more efficient in terms of the consumption. So, um, so that's it. Uh,